Hi, I'm back and today we want to share with you a very important topic that maybe many of you as a couple may often neglect. You know what's that? And that is budgeting. When you have a budget plan in mind, you will also tend to be a bit more careful on how you're going to spend in your wedding. A lot of times, many of our couples come to me and ask, Hello, I'm very stressed because I'm spending a lot, a lot of money. And I often ask them, why are you spending a lot of money? Later, we realize that they have not even taken time to list down what is important to them, why are they spending those uh, items, and most of all, they couldn't even envision what their wedding going to be like. So today, I'm going to teach you how to do it constructively. So are you ready? Let's begin. So as I mentioned, that the first important thing for both of you to come together is to craft a budget plan. And what you're going to see right now on the screen is actually a typical budget template that we do it for every couple. Now this template will list down all the items that you have that you will be eventually be spending for your wedding. What you will notice is in every budget plan, there should be two components, what we call the variable cost, like such the things that you pay to the hotels, like the food, the wines, and even wedding cakes. And we also have costs that such as the fixed cost, costs that you will spend regardless of how big is the wedding. For example, your wedding gowns, your photography, your videography, and even things like your decor and the overall lightings. So how do we begin? Firstly, you must notice that the more your guests increase, the more you eventually will spend on that item. For example, let's talk about wines. If you have a table of 10 and if everybody drinks socially, you should prepare at least two bottles of wine per table. And in most cases, your hotel will provide a complimentary wine. That means that you may need to top up wines if it happens that every one of your guests loves to drink wine. So cases like this, start listing down you know, the habits of your guests, the kind of preferences you want to serve, whether you'll be serving champagne on top of the wines. And later on, you will notice that as you start planning and scrolling down and put down every price item of each category, you will reach to a conclusion of a typical budget you may spend for your wedding. Now you'll be asking me, so what is the average cost that one will spend? Let me give you an average guideline. Usually in Singapore, most of us have wedding from 300 to 600 guests. So assuming that you have 300, which is a mid-tier, 30 tables, averagely you spend about 2,500 per 10 person. Now that doesn't just include the food and beverages, it also includes the other fixed costs that you want to spend for your wedding. So for a 30 tables, you will likely spend about $75,000. Now this $75,000 will include all your variable costs as well as the fixed costs. Now, for those of you who have more than 60 tables, you will also notice that as your gas list increases, some of the fixed costs you enjoy economies of scale. In other words, you may not need to spend $2,500 per table. You may spend about $2,000 per table of 10. That means roughly in a size of 60 tables, you spend about 120k. Now, so this is a guideline for you. Now that also means that if your size, gas size is much smaller like 100 packs, now your price per table of 10 may be increased as high as $4,000. That could mean that your wedding may cost about $40,000. Why is that so? Because some of the fixed costs you want to spend may be actually much higher than the food and beverages cost. Regardless how much you want to spend, you need to realize that planning a budget not just includes all the expenses, it also includes the priorities you want to spend on each item. It goes back to what is important to you. So what are the key tips to do a good budget? Now, I want you to remember this key word, which every time you often use it as a couple, and that is L-O-V-E, love. Always remember, when you love one another, you see budget as part of love. It is going to be an exercise that both of you can go through together. First, L represent list. O represent organized. V represent vendor selecting. And E represent embrace and envision. So step number one, list. You should list down all your needs versus all your wants. That means, what do you need? Do you need a photographer versus do you want a videographer? You know, or you may need both of them. Every time when you list out the items, you start talking to each other. Just remember the keyword is to love. To love what the things that you want for your wedding and also to make sure that it doesn't overstress your budget. Step number two. After you list all the items, remember it's time to organize. Not every items are as important. For example, for my wedding, I think decor is important. I want lots of flowers, so that is my first priority. But then again, to me, a gown is not as important because to me, my focus is to celebrate with my friends. The gown is an accessory that I carry it because I am just myself. So it's something you need to think about what is the most important and you organize that. Step number three, 
vendor selecting. Now, before you can even select a vendor, you need to research about the vendors. Look through all the list of vendors that you have screened through and that you prefer and start interviewing them. When you start interviewing them, ask them very fundamental budgeting question like, how much do you charge? What is the extra charges that will imply if you want to increase the number of hours or you want to extend the catering to more selections? But most of all, start talking to them to find whether you have a chemistry with them. Because ultimately, remember, you want to find people that are excited by a wedding, that wants to create a beautiful wedding just as you envision a beautiful wedding for yourself. The most important last step is embrace and ambition. You really need to embrace this entire wedding planning process, including budgeting. And you need to envision what do you really want in your wedding. Like what we mentioned in the first few words, list down your desires, organize based on priority, and then choose a vendor carefully. And finally, this is the day you're going to envision how all these items that you have been spending come together. But let me give you one important tip. That is, if you see wedding as a cost, you'll always be very painful because it is like spending out of your own pocket money. But if you see wedding as an investment, a time that you spend with your loved ones, with your friends that you want to celebrate, because this is the most important moment, then you will really enjoy this entire wedding plan process. Therefore, the budgeting is a way and a tool to help you make sure that what you envision for your wedding will come to be a beautiful reality. Since now you have known the four key things that you need to do for budgeting, let me also give you my final reminders. I want to make sure that you will start off your wedding plan in the right mode. First reminder, Never, never quarrel over money matters. My mentor always tell me, anything that money can solve is not a big problem because what is important is the relating to each other. Remember, you are actually starting a love journey together, starting from wedding and entering into marriage. So when you are ready to know how to kickstart your wedding, I'm very sure you are definitely more ready to kickstart your marriage plans. And second reminder, please do not borrow money to create a wedding. You know, there is large wedding, there is simple wedding. Whether it's a simple or large, every wedding will be beautiful if you start your planning at the right mindset. So, this is why I want to remind you that always work within your budget. Work within what you have saved and what you intend to spend. Do not borrow. Finally, the most important reminder that is, no matter how much you plan and no matter how much you spend, you must always remember your wedding will always be beautiful. And you know why is that? Because you're celebrating with people that you love to remember your most important moment. So relax, let go, and enjoy every single moment. We will be sharing with you more insider tips on this channel. So stay tuned, subscribe now, watch our other videos, and we'll see you soon.